A lot of people don't know that you can actually use 5G in India right now. We've tried it, it's awesome. And I'm gonna show you today how you can use 5G in India right now. First of all, there's something really important that I wanna mention. You don't need a new SIM card to use 5G. You don't need a new 5G plan to use 5G. So if you get any SMSs or calls asking you to make any payments or share your OTP to maybe upgrade your plan to 5G or maybe upgrade your SIM to 5G, don't fall for that. These are obviously scams. All you need is a 5G phone, and if you have one, here's how you can enable 5G. Now, if you have a 5G phone, by default it's set to 4G, you need to change that first. Look, all you need to do is go to settings, and here go to mobile network, then go to SIM settings and find this option, preferred network type, and choose 5G. This is set to 4G by default. Now, if you are in a 5G area, you should get the 5G icon here in the network bar. Now, this worked for us, but if 5G does not appear, you can try restarting your phone or you can force your phone to look for only the 5G network. Just install this app, which opens up this page. Here, just change the preferred network setting to NR only, which will only search for 5G networks. Look, I won't recommend this though, because this will set the phone to 5G only and it will not connect to LTE as well. Now, Airtel 5G is available for everyone. In the Airtel Thanks app, there is this option to check if your phone is 5G enabled. This check if there's 5G in your city and if your phone is 5G and if you have 5G software. As for Geo, you have to tap on this banner in the My Geo app and wait for the Geo 5G invite to start using it. Now, some of you might not be able to see the 5G option in your phone and there are two reasons for that. First, check if your phone is 5G or not. There is a link in the description where you can go and search for your phone and see if it's in the list. Second, if your phone is in the list and you still don't see the 5G option, don't worry, some brands are yet to push out a 5G update to enable 5G on some of their phones. I mean, some Motorola and Samsung phones are 5G enabled, but for phones that don't have the option, Motorola and Samsung have confirmed their 5G update for November. Apple and Google have confirmed it for December. And 5G phones from other brands, be it Realme, Xiaomi, Vivo, Oppo, mostly have the 5G option enabled already. So Airtel and Geo have rolled out 5G in a few cities in India. These are the cities Airtel 5G Plus is available in. And these are the cities Geo 5G is available in. Yeah, the coverage is limited right now. And Airtel has promised full 5G coverage in India by 2024 and Geo by 2023 end. Anyway, if you live in one of these 5G supported cities, the next step is to see where you can find 5G coverage around you. Look, the easiest way to do so is by using the speed test by Okla app, where you can just go to the map tab to see the network coverage in your area. As you can see here, it signifies 5G coverage with blue and there's a lot of blue in the daily NCR map. Now you can just zoom into your location and find blue squares to see 5G coverage near your location. It's easy. So we went to different locations in Delhi NCR to try out 5G. We went to Dwaka Sector 1 and the speeds were good. The download speeds were close to 350 Mbps and the upload speed was also very good, close to 100 Mbps. We also went to Connaught Place in Delhi, a pretty central location, and we got even better speeds. The download speeds were almost 600 Mbps and even the upload speed was good at almost 90 Mbps. That is insanely fast compared to our real world 4G speeds. To give you an idea, the average download speed with 4G in India is around 10 Mbps. We even did the speed test on multiple phones at the same location, the S22, Oppo Reno 8 Pro, iQ9 and the OnePlus 10 Pro and the download speeds were similar, somewhere between 400 to 500 Mbps. We went to a lot more locations. We went to Dwaka Sector 6 and we found no 5G. We went to Sector 16 Metro in Noida where the blue square shows up in the Okla app. We also went to Botanical Garden Metro Noida and we found no 5G coverage. In fact, we were right next to the tower, but you can see that there's only 4G. So the point is the blue squares in the speed test Okla app give you an idea where you can find 5G, but it's still very early days, so it can be hit or miss. See, right now, I know a lot of you guys are going through FOMO about 5G. I want to access 5G on my phone. 5G is not coming in my phone. Look, it's all right. If you ask me, everyone's hyped up about 5G right now, but soon I think people will start criticizing it. I say that because the biggest takeaway from my 5G experience is that it eats up data very, very quickly. And that means plans that cap data to 1.5, 2GB per day will kind of become useless. And that means you'll have to buy more expensive plans and that will put a dent in your pocket. So 5G is good, it's incredible, the speeds are great, but it has a catch to it, at least for now. Look, I want to know from you guys, are you okay with 4G speeds or you want the fast 5G speeds but at the higher cost? Comment down below. Also, if you have tried 5G, comment down below your experience with it. And yeah, give this video a like, make sure to share it so that everyone can start trying out 5G and waste up their data plans. And yeah, subscribe to our channel for more amazing tech videos. Thanks for watching and see you in the next one. 
This 600 rupee Xiaomi tablet is great for kids. This is the 8.5 inch Redmi writing pad and this comes with this dedicated...